So now we are going to see what is meant by data model or a data type. So you can go to the data types explorer. So data type in dev studio is nothing but data object in app studio. So you can add a new data type just like we have case types for work related processing for processing the data records. We have something called data type. Say for example, if you are adding some data type called cars to store cars related information. So for example, we can select in which room set and app layer we want to create. So this is the org name, org name dash another app name dash data dash cars. So it the cars data type will be created. So whenever you create a new data type, internally Pega creates multiple things, a class, some uh, database class mapping rule, connection to the external database. So if you see here, initially, if you go to this class record, open class record as you can see here when you go to test connection it is like it is connected to pr underscore other so by default whenever you create a new data type it will be of concrete concrete means it can store instances abstract means it cannot store any records or rows of data so it is mapped to a default prpc table called pr underscore other but if you want to map it to a dedicated table, your own external database table, then you have to select configure stores. So we have just create from here, we have created a new data type and whenever a new data type is created, so a class will be created and it will be mapped to PR underscore other in the Pega database. And there is a corresponding database class mapping rule or database table instance, which links this class and the table. For now, it is the local table which is PR underscore other. Say if we want to configure it with an external database table, so then we have to change this local storage. So for now, the source is, source is local data storage. If we want to change the source to another table, not the PR underscore other, because PR underscore other is a default table and multiple classes can point to PR underscore other. From that, everything will be stored in block column in PR underscore table and you cannot retrieve anything. So say you want, you can add your own properties which you want. Say I want car name. I want to add one more property called color. I also want to add one more property called make. So I need to select a key because a primary key is mandatory so we can also select whether we want to generate or not list single list and saveable data pages d underscore cars is a single data page to retrieve one car related information by passing the primary key as a parameter d underscore cars list is a list type data page to get the list of all cars present in this data type it is a single saveable data page to store data into this data table. So when you press submit, you will get error. Why? Because you did not mention the key. One option is say you can add something called ID because see, I can't make color as ID. Color I cannot make as primary key because there can be multiple rows of data with the blue color. There can be multiple rows of Marty as the make. So there can be multiple wagoners data. So only primary key you need to select as key. Otherwise the table in the future you cannot enter into the data into the table. So either you create a new ID called ID, something which should be unique or another option is you go to the class record and here you can add dot PYGU ID. Okay, this is the graphical universal unique ID, graphical user interface unique ID. So you can even add this as the PYGU ID. See, this is not a best practice if you are map, uh, uh, mapping to PR underscore other table. So, you, but in some cases, we still map to PR underscore other and in such cases we remove this PYGUID 
so that warning will not be there and also key is not required right primary key is required only when you are maintaining your own table pr underscore is pega provided table in that why do you want primary key so now we have added py guid so now if you select configure source automatically it will get added as a key primary key globally unique id py guid automatically prpc will create a 32 bit id in text alpha roman record and add it to each record whenever you create a new record so now again you have to add car name color make submit now we will not get any error okay i think this is empty i think it is color okay yes submit so here this icon indicates that this property is already existing and we are going to reuse that property in this class maybe in the higher levels it is already existing this make property close so now if you see you refresh like once it is completed we will you need to refresh this data type or data object data type data object are nothing but the data class and this class will hold some records instances of this class are nothing but the records so each record is a row in the database table so now if you want more columns you can add you are always free to add so you can view the data model which opens the data designer landing page so this is the cache type this is the cars currently there is no linkage because there is no connection here so as you can see these are my properties coming to records currently there are no records say for example i am adding a car name as wagonar and make as maruti color as blue i am not entering anything in the global unique id i am pressing enter or i will press save okay you see carefully i did not enter anything here i am pressing save so when you press save you will get an error because this is the primary key without entering primary key even if you save it will not be saved so we enter some unique id like this and press save you need to reload it because you tried to save without entering the primary key so as you can see if we enter anything and try to tab out you will get an error like this because you are not entering in anything in the primary key the ideal thing is first you have to enter the primary key so i think primary key will not be generated automatically we need to generate manually also in the expression the builder which we will discuss in future there is an option called, there is inbuilt function to generate guui guui id py guui id automatically so you need to select that as you can see in the data types now three is shown this three figure is nothing but the it has three data pages so this time first i will enter the guui id car name i will enter so now if i tab out there is no error still there is error i think there is some issue i will check it out there is some issue in the personalization i will reset it thank you